In this video, we'll look at definitions and explanations of one variable statistics terms. Let's start with mean. Mean is the average of a set of data. This is what you're used to. When you say average, you usually mean mean, and when you say mean, you're talking about the average. That's a pretty common thing and most of you are familiar with it because that's what we often use at school class average your overall average and so easy to calculate just make sure to show your work the median is the middle number a little less common I like to remember it the median is like the concrete in the middle of a street sometimes that's the median it's in the middle of the road that's the middle number. Remember when you're calculating median, if there's an odd amount of items, then just take the middle thing. But if there's an even amount, say you have 10 pieces of data, take the middle two and divide by two. That'll give you the middle number. And the mode is the most common data. It's the thing that appears the most. So whatever number appears, the most amount of times is the winner, that's the mode. If you have a tie, you could have a two-way tie or a three-way tie, a four-way tie, etc. All of them are the mode. Whoever is tied for most common, all those items, all that data, let's say five and seven were both appeared three times and that was the most, then five and seven are both the mode. And finally, if no number repeats, if no item in the set of data repeats, there's no mode. What's Q1? I mean, there's a lot of ways to understand the quartiles, Q1, Q2, Q3, but we'll keep it nice and simple. Q1 is the boundary for the bottom 25% of your data. You separate your data into four quarters, and there are three boundaries. So this first boundary separates the bottom quarter, that's your Q1. It's the boundary for the bottom 25% of your data. Q2 is the middle. It's going to be the middle of the data separating, separating the top 50% and bottom. 50%. And it's a super long definition, but really explanation, it's just the median. The median is Q2, and Q2 is literally the median. That is, it's the middle of the data that separates the top half and the bottom half. What's Q3? Just like Q1, it separates a quarter, but in this case, it's the boundary for the top quarter. So we'll write the boundary for the top 25% of the data. And now the min, I think that's pretty easy. Most of you probably knew what that was. This is the lowest number in the data. If you take data management, you'll learn a much more complicated way to understand the min and the max, but for us, for simplicity, the min is just the lowest number in the data, and similarly, the max is going to be the highest number in the data. And finally, standard deviation. Again, this can be quite a complicated thing, but we'll keep it nice and simple. The standard deviation is the average distance of each item or each piece of data. Oh, I spelled from wrong, I wrote for. It's the average distance of each item from the mean. And so you can also understand it as a rating of the spread of the data. Oh, I wrote something else wrong running too fast of the data. Let me go slow and go over that. Standard deviation is like the average distance of each item from the mean. 
each item gets a rating how far it is from the mean they put it all together in one standard deviation so you can think of the standard deviation as a rating of how far apart or how spread out this group of data is so there you've got nine definitions mean median mode q1 q2 q3 the quartiles min and max and standard deviation with some explanation on top of what i wrote